Hi guys, welcome to the stream. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Today we are streaming Hogwarts Legacy. Just came out not too long ago. Really excited to get into this. So far it looks like a very beautiful open world take on the Harry Potter universe. It's gonna be a lot of fun, let's jump in. Make sure all my audio is good here. One sec. Okay. How you doing, Nutter Butters? You hear the game music? Does that sound good? All right. Awesome. So just booted up the game. We says we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on first of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. Oh, this feels like the movies already. As we as you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before you escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. <laughs> All right. So I guess these are presets. Unlikely I'm going to find a beard because a bunch of high school kids, but you know, worth a shot.
Not a bad character creation so far. Good enough, I guess. Hmm. Well, it's getting closer. as close as I'm going to get, actually. close I have blue eyes in real life because I doubt they have white for the avatar that looks kind of cool Quite something. <laughs> I am indeed a student, but I could. It was oh, yeah. wonderful. I believe. I'm <laughs> eager to get to Hogsmeade. No, that's just funny. That was quite something. A few changes the pitch. Okay. Dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. That was quite something. I am hmm. indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. All right. Should we name ourselves? I don't know. You do it with no, you have to have a last name. Hmm. What you think, chat? Cedar seeds, all right. <laughs> Do it. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, 
I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of. Sounds like an audio glitch with my character voice. A bit weird. Oh boy, here we go. See the wizard. There's literally. traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Hmm. It's like they got some special abilities. Merlin's beard. How did you? Wait. We did. <laughs> Oh, this game was good. Yeah, 
he just saw someone die. I remember that. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Yeah, what's what in happened? it? That's what I want to know. Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Is it just me, chat, or does my character specifically have an echo? I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I that is weird. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Yep, yeah, those are some nice graphics. You think it's on purpose now, Butters? Yeah, could be. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. <laughs> Every day you see a castle on a cliff. Why not? Mind Ooh. your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. I wonder if I could change the voice back to normal. I'm, I'm getting a weird effect on it. Aha, there it is. Let's try that. That makes it better. Is that ice? Oh yeah, it's way not better. It's cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. 
Focus on the center. Ooh, that feels good. Excellent. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera. Hmm, okay. Improving I really like car. that for some reason. Thank you, sir. Just feels good. Oh, up there. We're close now. It's just ahead. Yourself. Don't fall off now. Repair <laughs> now that is some animation skills. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Oh, okay. Interesting. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Uh. Uh. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Ooh. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Oh. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Oh, it's a goblin. We oh, yeah, green guards. Hello. A moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> 
Wizarding Bank. Vault Almost. number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. This must be the back door. <laughs> the key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. You uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Ooh. Roller coaster. How many volts are there? Hundreds. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. <laughs> you'll want to take a breath. A what? I'd hate to be a tall guy on this that ride. The pool washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? It gets capitated. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. That's right, another butters. That'd be a fun ride, wouldn't it? Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Hmm. So if I remember correctly, this is before Here Harry Potter's are. time. Uh, about a hundred years or so? I can't remember what it is. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. I don't want to fall off there. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Oh, boy. Wait. Oh. Best of luck. <sighs> Thanks. Professor? was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. 
Hmm. Revelio, perhaps? Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, oh wait. Study one with L. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. You gotta fully guide it. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Uh. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! Nice. Classic. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Hey, well, let's get the Mines of Moria vibes over here. <laughs> Where the gob goblins start running at us. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. But on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Interesting. Oh. There must be something to that reflection you're seeing. Character keeps leaning over like his back is hurting. <laughs> Revelio, casting. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. All right. Oh, interesting. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, it's, it's about to get real. Look out! Potato! Action. 
locked. Let me also. That's pretty fun, actually. Confringo. I don't think so. The retaker. Deposo. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of When all else fails, follow the fairies, as they say. Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. There we go. <laughs> Revenge. Right. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh wait, what's that? Oh. Now oh, some gold. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Fine by me. Oof. Potato. Little delayed there. Ouch. I don't know how to dodge yet. Okay. Stun enemies. Oh, we're surrounded. Nice. Me up. Stupid. Oh, I see my headlights up when I'm about to get hit. Okay. Follow the fairies. Oh, there we go. Was this one of those uh, memory de pool devices? I think it is. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that 
basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. Oh yeah, that's what they were called. Viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. <laughs> Man, I wish I could do that. All is in place. The porky is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did mm. a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have <laughs> Oh, man. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Gotta done it now, man. and effed it up.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Well, that's one way to get to school. <laughs> Beats the bus. How you doing, chat? Thanks for joining, everybody. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. <laughs> this one hell of an intro. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. <laughs> Definitely before Dumbledore's time. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? <laughs> you come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. You know me too well. Let's be a rebel. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. 
What is it? Hmm. Sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. <laughs> Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Oh, boy. Yeah, a bit cliche, but why not? Better be Gryffindor. It's iconic colors, so they are. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Miss Dumbledore already. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? Uh. The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. You know, if you consider invisibility cloaks and all that stuff in the Harry Potter universe, I think a password's kind of useless in that case. <laughs> At least Looks seen like it out loud. Gone. Better head to the common room. Hmm. All right. Let me adjust my face a little bit. Yeah, it should work. Wow, <laughs> put a lot of detail into this. Now, which way is the common room?
And the picture's moving everything. You know, lockpick for that chest. <laughs> Gossip already. Here we go. <laughs> a new fifth year. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon fruit. Like that poor man from the ministry. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. What you looking at? Nelly will do anything to get on with wings. Professor could arrive in. I'm sure you used them. <laughs> wow. Think she is anyway. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again, put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Goodness. Wow. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes. Our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. <laughs> anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. The dialogue is very cinematic. I like it. Here, have a sip. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Another Weasley. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. <laughs> Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Hmm. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though. I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. <laughs> Definitely a Weasley. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Huh. 
Got a snitch flying around. Still I forget what working. is that. Do you call it a snitch? I think you call it a snitch. I don't know. It's been a while I'm since I watched wrong. the movies. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Mm. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. That's what the goblin did. Spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Oh, everybody. <laughs> yeah, hey, I wonder how many things on the walls are going to move throughout this building. Would be Hogwarts otherwise. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Hmm. I got a lot of catching up to do. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise nice. to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. <laughs> the guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about... Is that a platypus? I feel like I've seen that in something else though. looking at all 
<laughs> oh, that's a trip. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you <laughs> about that painting of poor Barufio. <laughs> Simply come. See that? Uh... Oh, do I have to cast a spell? Revelio. Aha, okay. This portrait depicts the wizard. Barufio, famed for his brain elixir and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. He once said it instead of a F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the UI artwork. Okay. Interesting leveling system. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more Makes sense, opportunities yeah. like that. You Inside, level up by learning stuff. The castle. What's up, Katie? No time to waste. You've classes to attend. You see that? You're distracting me. Yeah, they put a lot of work into the detail Good of the time. architecture. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, uh, it's not working. Hmm, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. So that's the fast travel, the flu flames. Nice. Travel to Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Damn, that's an entrance. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. What you playing, Fabio? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. 
Even the statues talk. Sorry, chat, just enjoying the scenery. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Patrick, ready. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Mm. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thanks, like the movies. Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio, huh, lucky earlier, me. I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor <laughs> Fig. What timing? Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Here's a question. How did I get my wand? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more 
flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Interesting. So we'll start with Defense Against the Dark Arts. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. It's setting me loose finally. What trouble we can get into. Rebellion. Hmm. You can't imagine how inconvenient sure travel was before I invented flu powder. I wonder how many pictures they put into this game. I don't have time to look at all. Was it two pinches of Angelica? Revelio. Oh, is this a puzzle? Let's see, how do we do this? Okay. Do I have to match these? Okay, so is that the order it goes in? I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh. My father writes to me every oh. day. Is there something over there? Okay, so there's two of them. Spider, question mark, squid. Does the double question marks? 
Okay. I was a late bloomer. Oh, that's what we wanted. Okay. And someone said something. Because they want something. I accidentally dropped a club one down. You think I did? It's a downward facing triangle. This is an upward one. Ah, I think I get it. Nope. <laughs> Maybe not. What you think, chat? I only see... It's the spider. Okay, there's only a limited. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't get this one. Must be another button I missed somewhere. Rebellion. That might help. Oh, well, there's only two there. Hmm. We'll come back to that later. Side quests. Oh boy. <laughs> See how much time I put into side quests. Yeah, I wasn't sure what exactly to do with that puzzle. I think I have enough flu networks unlocked yet. Yeah, that would be zero. Oh, now he's playing. Serenade us, Fabio. <laughs> wow, it's a big staircase. check my map Ah, 
Aha. We have found the outside. Yeah, I'm gonna put on some background music real quick. that chat too loud If it drowns out the game, you guys let me know. Alright. Oh, I cannot wait to get a broom. Start flying around. It's gonna be pretty good. Oh, there's the flu. Okay. Nice. Oh. Yeah, she looks a little too happy in that picture. That would not be very fun, in my opinion. That's a good way to drink some tea, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if only it were that easy. I would know, I play an instrument. Balls. A little creepy. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. Good no catch. heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Simplicity in the heat of battle, I like that. Levioso.
Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Oh, that's nice. Let me open. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. That's oddly satisfying. Oops. You're good. Let me also accept it. I do join a lively duel. We always do this for this again. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> okay. I put you on the spot. My guy gave him a pretty goofy smile there. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. <laughs> You dueled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice this work. looks just like the movies. For the most part. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. <laughs> you owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Hang it on. If you're interested. Till next time. Revelio.
Nice. Oh, you lock picking. And charms class. Okay. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. She reminds What's me a lot of Hermione. Alright, got that one. Revelio. Make some tea for the road. Too far away. Maybe. What's up, fellas? There's the ghosts. Ice cube. Aha, there's the stairs. Whoa. It's fluffy. Kind of. Or his parents. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. That's one way to carry some books. Rebellion. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would. I wouldn't have the faintest idea. I cannot do this for all eternity. Chased by a ghost for all eternity. That would suck. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh, that's messed mm. up. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Uh, Akio, I know this spell. Akio, 
That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Hmm. Time to see the grounds. Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> this game is a lot of fun, Zian. I am playing on PC right now with a PlayStation controller. Very good frame rates. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? I will say the the spell casting is really satisfying. On one of the spheres and the they did a good job with that. At the last possible moment. Now uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Oh, now, okay. I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best profession. Show us how it's done. That's it! Ah, first try. I, I thought it would be confusing at first, but it, it walks you through it pretty, pretty slowly in the beginning. It's a really uh, nice long intro that kind of gets you accustomed to the controls. Excellent control there. Oh, first try again. Akio. Very good. A little bit of physics in there. Oh, that was going to roll over. Very good. Points that would be a fun Gryffindor. game. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the Blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Friendly competition. Here we go. What's this? Done. Let's see. Let's see if I can be a bit of a troll here. Akio. <laughs> oh, that was an execution. <laughs> <laughs> you only own a switch, Zian? Oh, thank you. Actually, I need to get a Switch. I've been wanting to play it for a while. I have mainly PlayStations and PC games. Not exactly your typical lesson. Ah, here. Not that I mind. Oh, too much. Oh. Not to worry. Let us see this. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we're good. There we go. So to win this, I need to knock her off. Again. That's it. Nope, not quite. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh. I think we are well past interesting at this point. 
I'll say. This would actually be a pretty fun game to play at a pub or something. We'll need it. This round Sip on some butterbeer. Here we go. Let's see. That is how it's done. So I think I need to do it after that goes back. I think I will start going easier oh. now. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Well played. Just barely. Watch this. As you said, Switch is fun, but the storage is lower than the other consoles. Hey, hey, that's what I heard. Can't go wrong with PC, man. It's all the Steam games on, on sale all the time. I have a library of about 400 games just from summer sales and winter sales. I know everyone is watching. And then you can plug in any controller you want to play with. You are doing quite well. To the USB. Akio. Oh. No, 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 no. I will get you back for that. Look at that. Hey, I'm just barely winning this. There we go. Akio. A perfect score. Look at that. Good, both of you. Well done. How's that background music, chat? Is it too loud? Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly. Oh, nice, I okay. I remember how Thanks, I felt no when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Wow. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. <laughs> oh, wow. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must That's admit, safe. however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> Swishing the arm, of course. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. It looks a little pissed off back there. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, a word if you would. using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't ah, work on humans. nice. Thanks for the input, Zian. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I, I mainly just wanted it to I trust your fill the gaps. Charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. 
Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Whoa. One of those medieval torture devices. I forget what these, uh, the steel... The iron cage, I forget the name of it. It's got spikes on the inside. Interesting thing to have out of school. Hmm. Dr. Weasley. Uh, no flu networks. It's okay. We must explore more of the school. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <laughs> he said... He thought they put swords in the holes rather than already being inside. Yeah, I think me, me too. On another adventure, are we? Oh, that's Calaria. I wonder if we get anything from petting all the cats. It's probably just a Aesthetic. Oh, Peeves. I remember Peeves. He says it's a boo and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> See, I think I need to go down. I went to the lake once. What downstairs. Maybe. Whoa. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. Those are some tapestries. Fight. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Must be where the herbology class is, with all the green. Getting closer. Revelio. Like the little lore pieces. That picture still weirds me out. Oh, 
Always feel like someone's inside those suits of armor. Oh, that's a badass picture. I want that as a wallpaper. Rebellion. Painting of Ilias. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who's famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors. Oh man. The Mouse Patronus. Let's see. We gotta go... Maybe out this way. Oh, we found the courtyard. That was pretty. Do some sightseeing once we start flying. What? More kitties. Oh. Yeah, I didn't forget you. I wonder why there's so many. About the room, Professor. Looks I like was Dobby. thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well. They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Zian says, oh, flying is going to be fun. Wonder how that's controlled. I'm guessing with the combination of the joysticks, probably going to be pretty smooth. I know for a fact there's there's brooms in this game and then I, I got a an item at the beginning which I didn't show on stream sadly but I got a black hippogriff as a sign in bonus it's gonna be cool whenever we can unlock it have you and professor Fig not discussed my training he continues to be reticent about the details mentioning only a few spells Revelio, was it and Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now! Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Mm, okay. Ollivanders. I remember that from the movies. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, you choose it. Okay. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. 
Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, man. I've actually, uh, I tried making a, a home-style butter beer once. It's really good. Got some interesting ingredients. Oh, new spells, okay. So I gotta do the assignment first. on the door. Looks like I untracked it. There we go. That'd be a nice spot to sit. I used the light transfiguration, but now it's... Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay. Is it like a minigame? This is the right area. Oh, nice. I wonder where the flying page is. Oh, you didn't like that. Oh, Akio, that's right. Akio, got it. I'm learning. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. There he is. Accio. Brilliant. Man, I wish I could do that in real life. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Mm. 
Ooh, this is a long one. Oof. Uh, I can't wait to use that. Wonder how much work went into Very animating good. all the repair if you stuff. Would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, okay, it's on the bottom. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Off to Hogsmeade, I guess. I'll do the dueling later. Interested to get my custom wand. Let's see. Is this the way up? This, this place is a maze. Beautiful maze, though. Hello, looking for me? Aki. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. And a butter beer. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. You can juggle enemies? What? Whoa. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? This map is yes, huge. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. Here's the Quidditch. I thought you might enjoy a butter beer in the village. Yes, please. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Rumor has it there's a secret passage leading to Hogsmeade. Secret path? Where's that at? Sounds like they're putting hints in the idle gossip. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Yeah, I hope Though I get to play Quidditch at some point. It elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? 
They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Ooh, good to know. What is that? <laughs> interesting. From a forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard oh. rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Yeah, it would be fun to ride one of those. Oh, Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. <laughs> also. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. That's a cool shot of the school. I <laughs> would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. No kidding. I'm just enjoying the scenery. you settling in I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange everything was so new and unfamiliar I'm getting used to things what about you do you finally feel settled I still miss my homeland but it is beautiful here too and getting out of the castle has helped me to adjust quite a bit Hogwarts has become something of a home now I would say hopefully it will for you too Stone. So I can tell there's already a crafting farming mechanic. I think I remember them talking about using the room of requirement as your own little base for crafting and stuff. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Pretty cool if I could uh, accio those mushrooms. I'll have to try next time. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Zonkos. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, 
spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I with will see pleasure. You. Okay. Wow. So I need to go to Ollivander's for my wand. I guess we'll start there. Closest. Yep. <laughs> I remember this. Blooming beard. Nice. Wow. Every detail. That is impressive. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um. Just a moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, what? Soft spiral, a brown. Unyielding. Wow, they put a lot into that. See, am I stuck with that wood type? Okay. How intriguing. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Curious indeed. Kind of like that one. Natural gray. It's got a nice notch in it, too. How intriguing. 
Hmm. Curious indeed. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this one. How intriguing. Oh god. Oh, that gets steep. Curious indeed. Uh. How intriguing. You know what? Oh. Cherry. Just saw it. Curious indeed. Too far. Since uh, my How name is Cedar, intriguing. might as well just go with the cedar wood. All right. Ooh, we... Curious indeed. Hmm. Intriguing. Doesn't show you what it looks like. All right, there should be fine. Curious indeed. Yeah, so many fine choices. That's right, Zian. I don't know what any of them mean, is the sad part. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Curious indeed. Curious indeed. Mm. How intriguing. Okay. Oh, wait, I missed think? one. Oh. Oh well. Surprisingly squishy, yep. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> See? Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Missed the last piece, but I don't think it matters too much. Ooh, wool scarf. I'll just steal that from your chest, why not? I got gloves. May look like Harry Potter. It's not too shabby. Oh, you could get handles for the wand? That'd be cool. Uh, I bet the part I missed was changing the core.
That looks cool. I like that. Oh, you're running around in the skivvies. Uh. Okay. What's next? Tom's of Scrolls, that's the next one. This place reminds me of the Renaissance Festival. An inquiring mind. Ooh, that looks cozy. Whoa! Okay. What? No way. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> Very masquerade looking. That was. <laughs> like work's getting done without any hand. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts, Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Hmm. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's that look at fun. what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Whoa. Some expensive tables. So to find a way to earn some money. Oh, Excel items. Nice. Yeah, keep those. That's the next one I needed. Pippin's potions. Oh. Oh. 
Someone has to say it! Oxmead's gone to the duck box! Someone has to say it! I wonder if they'll ever find that gold. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins! Best part about this game so far, no loading screens. Ah, that looks cool. There we go. Looking suave. Wait. <laughs> Don't want to wear a cape. Let's see, is there any secrets in this place. Revelio. There is. All right. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? <laughs> Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most oh, yeah, fascinating the art in. potion making? Yeah, they're really good, aren't they? Rivals, anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? I bet it was, Ian. What can I do for you today? Do you have a non-alcoholic butterbeer or an actual alcoholic butterbeer? The one I made, it was a alcoholic version. Ooh, healing potion. <laughs> Rock skin. Nice. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Guess I could sell my old garb. Ah, oh, so not alcoholic now. Okay, nice. Still just as good. Yeah, apparently, uh, forget the name of it. It's been so long since I've been into Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling, I think, was the author. She based, based uh, butterbeer off of an, the actual old recipe. Magic Neep. Oh, good. 
Thanks, Dan. <laughs> That's weird. I forgot the name. You start with the third book. Uh, last time I read the books, I was very young. My aunt was reading them to us. My family and I. Akio. Gotcha. I think we read all seven books too. I just don't remember any of them. And I watched. I remember watching all the movies. I started watching them again recently. Just trying to get caught up again. I will say a lot of the stuff in this game is very similar to the movies. They did a good job. Well, hello there. Rebellion. Oh, you read them two years ago? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what we'll say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Mm, okay. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. I have a feeling I'll be coming back here once I start my own growing. <laughs> well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Oh, a lot of flu points, okay. <laughs> nice. Natural Edward scissor hands right there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I think. Oh. You just pick gold up randomly. Wizard wear. Wonder if there's some more uh, wardrobes in here. Ooh, that a chest back there. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking into a mall now. What is that? Rebellion. I guess I have to use some kind of spell on that. <laughs> Locked to level five, okay.
like you can really deck it out here. Not quite there yet. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Mess with the town of wizards. Draw it away from the building. Away from the village. Oh, that's the dodge. There we go. I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it so much. Oh, she took one to the face. It's a lot of damage. Uh. Whoa. That was close. Look, he's buttering. Defendo. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Expedient. I'm all out of barrels. Well, that works. <laughs> oh, goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of Honora, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Hmm. Now for some Repero. Repero. Oh, hello there. A, a moment if you would. I will see what he wants. <laughs> Satisfying. Lucky they didn't do more damage. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repairer. Uh, what else? What am I missing?
Most like it never happened. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'm down for some new slacks, why not? Oh, there's some cool ones. Probably expensive, though. Oh, I see. So it's based off your defense and offense. Or it increases it. Sweet. Actually, I can afford some of these. Can't like those gloves. And that scarf. Preview gear. Oh, that looks cool. Fancy hat. No, why not? Get some traveling clothes. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the Hell three yeah. sticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Let's see. That looks pretty cool, actually.
Yeah, we'll go up there for now. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Oof, that was close. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Hmm. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I never got my butterbeer. So much for that. You still just have to make one in real life. Rebellion. Stuff upstairs. All right, get up there. Oh, nice.
Wow. That breaks out my offense by a lot. Hell yeah. That looks cooler too. See this? Do anything? Brings up my defense. Don't like the look of it. Hmm. Yeah, it does, Nutter Butters. Might just make some of that later. Got a pretty good recipe on YouTube for it. Some sealers. Nothing else. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Turn to the common room. All right. South wing. Aha. Easy travel. Yes. Drink the butter beer. Not the butters. Better put my school robes back on. It's not really a. Is there a difference? No. Well, until you can apply a trait. I don't know how you apply traits yet. Side quests. <laughs> Post from an owl. Professor Fig says, come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. All right. It's down that way. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Oh, it says it for you. Nice. Blue network is coming in handy. Of course it Saves is. a lot of time. She's right. Thank you. Well, it's their own fault for saving it and then letting it grow fond of them. What else would they do? Oi, can you help me? Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. 
I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Why not? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Oh. So out in the courtyard. Some doors behind the tree. Akio? Maybe that means Akio? Try that out later. Rebellion. It's an office. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Oh. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Heckett know to expect you. Nice. All right. A lot to get into. Sadly, I think that's all the time we have for tonight, everybody. Appreciate you all sticking around and joining me. I will definitely be streaming more tomorrow and the rest of the week. I'm, I'm actually off work this week, so I'm going to be streaming a ton. Perhaps I'll come back to this. We have a, I believe it's Atomic Heart coming out tomorrow as well. I might be streaming that or I might be recording. I'm not sure yet. But keep an eye out. Catch you guys later. Have a good one. I should come back to this another time.
I don't think I can do this now. Best to come back. <laughs>